Hey guys, welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an AI which can detect you on site and then chase you with chase music. And once it stops seeing you, it stops chasing you, the music will fade out. So I'll show you what this is going to look like. So I hit play, you see the enemy is over there. Once it sees us, it starts chasing us with the music. And then if we can hide, so up here we get out of sight, he can't see us anymore, the music is fading out and he is no longer chasing us. So as you can see, if we go down here behind him, he can't see us, so he's not chasing us anymore. So I'll show you how to do this now. Oh, and also you can reset this. So it happens again. Next time he sees you, the exact same thing will happen like so. So I'll show you how to do that now. So let me just delete everything I have and we'll get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we want to create our AI blueprint. So an easy way of doing this is just duplicating our character. So I right click on it, duplicate, I'm just going to call this AI, you can name this whatever you like, and we'll just open that up straight away. And so then what we're going to do is find some space and then go straight over to the viewport over here. And how we want to be able to detect sight, and this also works with sound as well, is go to add component up in the top left here, and we want to get pawn sensing, like so. And then we can just get that like this. You may need to close it and reopen it, or just compile, sorry. Then we can now see all of this. So this is the pawn sensing component. So this green circle here is the sight radius. So this is how far it can see. So I'm just going to put this down to something like 1340. It doesn't matter too much. You can actually just place it in your world and see how big this is. So I think that would be good for me. This doesn't matter too much for me. And also you can change the hearing threshold. All of this good stuff. The sensing interval. So this just means every half second it will check to see if it can see the player or can hear the player. Stuff like that. And we'll see enable sensing updates. Only sense players. See pawns hear noises, all of that good stuff. Then the peripheral vision angle, obviously your peripheral vision is what you can see out the corner of your eyes without looking there. So 90 degrees is basically it can see full 180 in front of it, as you can see with this cycle here. So customize that for however you like, but I think this will be good for me. And so then what I'm gonna do is as I want this to be on site, I'm gonna get the on C pawn button there. If I just click the plus, I will get an event like so. And again, I'll just put this down in some space down here. And so now out of the pawn object reference here, what I want to do is cast to our character. So I have the third person character, but it's going to be first, third, or whatever you've named it for you. And the reason we're casting to this is to make sure that it is only doing it when it sees our third person character, or it basically sees our player, nothing else. And so then out of this, we want to get a sequence. So you can hold down S and left click to get a sequence like so. And then we want to create a Boolean variable. So down the bottom left, hit the plus variable. I'm going to call this C enemy or can see enemy I'll do question mark like so and again make sure it's a boolean set to false by default and out of then zero what we want to do is set this to true so obviously when it sees the player it will set this to true so take that like so and then out of then one we want to get a re-triggable delay and then again set the boolean but now back to false and the re-triggable delay we want this to be 0.1 seconds above the pawn sensing interval, like so. So this is 0.5, so I want this to be 0.6. Now a re-triggable delay is essentially what it sounds, so you can re-trigger this delay. So if it's gone 0.4 seconds through, and then it needs to be triggered again, it will do that. So then reset back to zero and go all the way through 0.6 again. And the reason we've got this is so that it basically this is how we can detect when it can't see the enemy anymore. So it will automatically stop chasing the player when it doesn't see the enemy. But we also need to create a boolean so we know when it can't. So essentially every time it sees the player, after 0.6 seconds, so after the next sense, it will set this back to false. So obviously because it's after the sense, if it then senses the player again, it will set it to true and reset this back to zero seconds and start counting up again. I hope that makes sense. Now what we want to do next is get our AI move to. So this is how we actually move the AI. So if we just drag out of that set up off of then zero and get an AI move to, like so, the pawn we're going to drag out and get a reference to self. So get a reference to self like so, and the target actor is going to be our third person character. So out of our cast, we can do as third person character, drag that into the target actor there, and that is basically just going to move it. So now out of this, what we want to do is get a do once node, and this is where we're going to play our music. So if we hold down O and left click, we can get a do once node like this, meaning obviously this will only play the song once. So if it detects the player again while it's already chasing, it won't restart the song or play another one. It will stay like this. And then to actually play the song, what we want to do is create the audio component. So we'll find some more space and we'll get event begin play like so. And here we just want to drag in our audio. 
So I have already imported an audio in here. If you get your own, make sure it's a WAV 16-bit, but I've got one off of freesound.org, which I'll link in the description below, as this is free to use in your own games. So it sounds like this. But obviously you also heard at the start of the video as well, so I'll just drag and drop that in there, so it should have add audio component like that. Make sure to just plug that in. Then out of the return value, what we're gonna do is drag out of this and just get a stop, so it doesn't play it, it just gets a reference to it, and we'll right click the return value again, promote to variable, and I'll just call this audio, whatever you like. So we're basically creating a reference to this, but we're not playing it, so like so. And I'll select that, hit C to make a comment, and I'll just do create audio reference, like so. And we'll go back down here, out of the completed of the do once, we'll drag and drop our audio reference in there, so get, and then we'll drag out of that, and we're just gonna play. So play, like so completed plug that in there and the start time you can pick whatever you like but for me I'm just gonna leave this at zero seconds so it starts at the very start of it and now we want to create the function to stop the music and also reset this do once so we can restart the music when we want so to do that what we're gonna do is come under this port and sensing here we're gonna right click and get an event tick node like so and we'll drag out of the event tick and we're just gonna get a branch so actually I'll hold down B left click and get a branch like so plug that into the event tick like that and the condition of this is going to be our can see enemy boolean that we made earlier. So obviously it will set it here. And then we're going to come out of false. So hold down D to get a delay. Plug that into false like that. And I'll put the delay as 0.4 seconds. So it's just under the pawn sensing interval. And now the completed, I'll hold down B, left click and get another branch with the same condition of can see enemy like so. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that in a minute. And then out of false, what we're going to do is get another reference to audio. So drag and drop that in get audio, drag out of this, and we're just going to get a fade out, like so, and again, plug that into the false like that. The fade out duration, I want this to last five seconds, and the fade volume level, I want this to go to zero, so it completely stops it. And then we'll just drag out of this fade out and go into the reset of the do once note there. I'll double click to get a reroute like that. So this basically means when it isn't chasing the player anymore, it will fade out the music and stop it, and then reset this do once so we can then play the music again when it starts chasing it. So this is it done. So I'll walk you through what the code does. So when this AI detects the character, so when it sees him, what it's going to do is set a boolean of can see enemy to true so we know that it can see him and then it will be moving the AI to our player so it'll be constantly chasing him and then while it's doing that it's going to be playing our music. And with this delay here, if it stops chasing the player, what it's going to do is set can see enemy to zero. So what it's going to do is stop chasing the player as it can't see the enemy anymore. And again, this is so that we know what it's doing. And down here, if we can't see the enemy, so if the AI can't see us or can't see the character, it will come up that into a delay and then it will check again. So essentially what we're doing is if it can't see the enemy and then after a certain amount of time, it still can't see the enemy, which is why we have the double branch here. This is just double checking. It will then fade out the audio so that the music stops and reset this so we can restart the audio again. So if I compile that and save, that should be that done. So what we can do is, I've already done it, so we've dragged in our AI there. Now one final step to what we need to do is we need to get our nav mesh bounds. So if we go into volumes here and we'll just scroll down until we find nav mesh bounds or you can search for it and we'll just scale this up to the size we want it to be. So essentially what this is, is this is the place that the AI can actually move in. So I just want this to cover the whole map like so. And if you hit P, then everywhere in green, the AI can move. So this is, again, we want this to be everywhere that we want the AI to go to. So that works good for me. And also if you want your music to loop, you can open it up and just tick looping under sound here like so, and therefore it will loop for as long as you want it to. So again, if I save, close that, this should be done. So we can test it out now if we hit play the player can't see us, the AI can't see us, sorry. If we walk close to it, it detects us, the music has started, and if we run up here and we hide, the, player, the enemy, the AI, sorry, should not be able to see us anymore, the audio has faded out and it stopped. So if I then walk all the way around it, hopefully try and miss it, and mind it caught us, so as you can see, it found us, so it saw us, it started chasing us, the music started again, we are now hiding, it can no longer see us, the audio has faded out and it stopped chasing us. So if I now try and find it, you see it can't see us as that is the site radius I've given it. 
as it can't see us, it's not chasing us, the audio isn't playing, if I go close enough, it can see me, it's chasing me, and it is now also playing the music. So it is continually chasing me, like so. I'm just going to stop as the music is quite loud. But I think that'll be it for this video. In the next video, I will show you how to create it so the AI just randomly roams about around here and then still chases the player when he sees him. But again, that's for the next episode. So I think that'll be it for this video. As we've done everything we want to do, we've created our AI and we've made it so that it will chase the player when it sees us and it will then play some music as well while it's chasing us. And when it stops chasing us, it will fade out that music and then allow us to redo this again. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.